Hi, and welcome to another edition of Two on Two, where we talk to marketing thought leaders about trends and challenges. I'm Aaron Perlett, and today I'm joined by Pizza Hut Chief Marketing Officer Kurt Kane. Kurt, thanks for joining me. Absolutely, Aaron. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me to join you. So, Kurt, the format is two questions, so let's dive right into it. Um, Pizza Hut is in a really challenging position from, from what I can gather. Uh, the, the pizza industry itself and the casual dining uh, industry itself has become insanely competitive. And if you look at the state of Pizza Hut's brand, it clearly is not where it was, say, maybe in the 80s and the early 90s. So as chief marketing officer, what are you doing to help kind of rebuild the brand and that equity and reconnect with consumers? Sure, Aaron. Well, um, what I can tell you is there, there's, there's never been a better time to be at Pizza Hut or to be in the, the pizza category overall. I think it's a really exciting and dynamic space right now um, because of the amount of innovation that I know we're bringing into the space and that you're seeing overall in the category in general um, is at its all-time peak. So I'm actually really confident about where we are right now and where we're going. The big option and the big opportunity for us is to continue to evolve ourselves as the brand leader which can be difficult to do when you are the leader. So you have to stay focused, you have to stay on point, and continue to evolve your experience for what people are looking for today and for tomorrow. And that's exactly what we're in the process of doing right now. So we, we feel like we're, we're well positioned to continue to drive the growth that we've experienced over the past few years, and we really look forward to exciting things ahead. Do you see any specific channels that are going to play uh, a more significant role than maybe in the past? to help you kind of reconnect with consumers and as you further position the brand? Sure. Well, I think obviously delivery and carry out continue to be you know, bigger channels for us. The history of the brand started in dine-in, but consumer behavior has helped evolve dramatically um, toward the, the, the delivery and carry out experience. So we're doing a lot of work expanding our store footprint, um, going into a lot more markets with delivery and carry out um, offerings for them. And that's really a key enabler towards driving continued growth for our brand. But in terms of uh, traditional marketing channels, so let's say whether it's Facebook, whether it's Pinterest, whether it's Twitter, uh, or oh, even sure. even traditional uh, you know traditional forms of advertising and public relations, um, give me a little sense of how you're leveraging those channels in an integrated way to uh, to further push the brand. Sure. Well, you know, it's, it, it's amazing how the model has has flipped. Um, when it comes to where our ideas are born and the kind of communication that we have. Our ideas actually now start with um, the, the conversation idea first. What's the story that we're trying to tell? And we actually really start a lot of those conversations through social, through PR, and then everything else picks up off of that. The old model was always go shoot a television ad, put that out there, and then see how people respond to it. But with the speed at which we're able to communicate with our customers now, a lot of our best ideas and our best marketing approaches are actually being pushed to us from conversations we're having with customers. So um, social, digital, all those elements are absolutely critical to be able to connect with people. And the thing that we actually love about that is when we're engaged with people digitally, we're only a second away from an order. And so we have the opportunity to turn a conversation into an order very quickly, unlike what you can do with television. So we're actually excited about the change in the media landscape and the way that we're connecting with customers today. So we took a quick detour and I asked you some follow-up questions to the first one. Um, but I guess my official second question would be that I know you were just a featured speaker at the uh, Next Generation CMO conference. Um, tell us a little bit about the message that you were delivering to your peers. And, it, you know, it's a pretty heady group of, uh, of peers that you were running with down there. But, you know, tell us what you were talking about down there. Sure. Well, you know, the Next Gen CMO Summit was, uh, was a gathering of, of some really interesting people and interesting brand, you know, brands and brand leaders. You know, brands like Nike were there. Um, brands like Sonos, the new wireless hi-fi system that's, you know, growing. So you had a, a wide variety of different brand experiences um, and, uh, and, and different kinds of marketing challenges. The subject of my speech in the keynote was really all about how you need to constantly reinvent your brand for today's experience, no matter who you are, no matter how big your brand is, no matter what level or, or state of brand maturity you may be at, there's something that you need to be doing to be able to consistently reinvent yourself before somebody comes in and reinvents who you are for you. And what I found was it was, it was incredibly well received um, because we had some really frank talk about challenges that all brands face consistently over time. And when you're able to bring those challenges to life through a story about pizza, um, it becomes very relatable. It's a non-threatening kind of topic. 
and it makes it easy for people to draw the the lessons out of that. So it was a, it was a really fun experience, and I know I took a lot out of being there with the uh, the leaders that were there. So you bring up an interesting point that goes back to the earlier question. Um, you know, you were talking about not really letting your brand be defined for you, but yet when we were talking about the social channels, you had mentioned that a lot of times it can be driven by the conversation that uh, that comes from th those channels. How do you walk that fine line where you you want to enable that conversation, but yet again, you don't want someone to take your brand hostage and, and hijack it, for, for uh, lack of a better term? Sure. Well, you know, one of, the, one of the key themes within my, my message for that group was that, you know, brands get sick when they forget who they are. That doesn't mean that you can't give control to a certain extent about the messaging to consumers as long as what they're saying is reflective of what the core of the brand is really all about. And I've had experience on brands like Doritos. I've had experience, obviously, on, on Pizza Hut. And every time we've actually gone out and let consumers help shape our messaging, they actually have a tendency to be truer to your brand than sometimes marketers are true to their own brand themselves. Because customers know what they define your brand to be. And if you give them the opportunity to reflect that, particularly your big fans, they do a fantastic job of helping bring that to life. So you don't really lose control. You actually gain creative output that ends up being truer to your brand than anything you might create on your own. So I guess that begs the question, uh, and this we'll, we'll let you go with this one, but in a pill, what is the you know what is the Pizza Hut brand? What does it stand for? You know, I think the the Pizza Hut brand has been unbelievable at helping you know consumers have great experiences together, shared experiences where people come together in, in an unpretentious environment to be able to have um, you know a fun time sharing um, memories and experiences that they may have had on any given day. The Pizza Hut brand for us is really all about helping make those times together great. And that's why our tagline and our positioning is all around our shared purpose with consumers, which is, is summarized in three simple words. Make it great. That's what Pizza Hut's all about. Great. Kurt, I appreciate your time. Uh, Kurt Kane, Chief Marketing Officer of Pizza Hut. This has been yet another edition of Two on Two. I'm Aaron Perlett. Thank you very much, Kurt. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Take care.